Hey everybody, it's Amy, your independent Sunsea consultant with Happily Scented Homes, and I am back today to share with you guys a first sniffs on the upcoming Sunspirations collection featuring Christmas Cottage. So if you aren't aware, Sunsea is doing this like new thing where they're taking a signature Scentsy scent, whether that's a bestseller or one that's just been in the catalog for a long time, and they are taking that scent and just tweaking it just a bit to make a brand new scent. Um, so they did this last year. They did Vanilla Bean Buttercream. That was the first collection. So we had like Caramel Buttercream and Gingerbread Buttercream and Candy Cane Buttercream. And then this summer they did the same thing with Gogo Mango. So they did a twist on that and there was like Mango Wildflower, Mango Shortcake, Mango Margarita. And then most recently, even though they didn't say it, I think the Open Plains collection was a Sunspirations for Weathered Leather. Um, they didn't advertise it that way, but to me it came off that way. And now this fall, we've got Christmas Cottage, which is a quintessential holiday Scentsy fragrance. It's been in the catalog forever. Um, it's got like Valencia Orange. Um, what else is in there? Raspberries, cloves, and spices. So, I call it my bougie scent, my bougie spice scent, but they are going to be having the Sunspirations. I think it's available towards like mid-November, I think, and it's going to come in this giftable box, and let me actually pull up the details so I'm not steering you guys in the wrong direction, because I feel like Sometimes I just talk out my ass and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I was completely wrong. So completely forgot what I just said like two seconds ago. The collection is going to be available November 13th. So yeah, I guess that is mid-November. Okay, I wasn't wrong. Never mind. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so November 13th, this will be available on my website or your consultant's website. It's going to come into these giftable collector's box as a bundle for $23. So in it, you're going to get four wax bars and you're actually going to also get a scent circle and it's a 3D scent circle. So is it a 3D scent? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a 3D scent circle. No, no, it's not a 3D one. Never mind. It looked, it looked 3D in the packaging. So we've got Christmas Cottage, which like I said, has raspberries, Valencia orange, cloves, and spices. To me, it smells like warm, red hot cinnamon candy. It really does. Now, how is this different from Cinnamon Bear? This is more complex because it's got the clove and the additional spices, where Cinnamon Bear is just red hot cinnamon, like a fireball. Like if you're drinking hot dams, like that's Cinnamon Bear. This is different. You've got a little bit of berry, you got orange, you've got all those heavy spices. But it's warm, like red cinnamon. Like, it's so, so good. So, I love Christmas Cottage. So, there's that one. So, that's the originator. That's who all these other scents are based off of. Alright, so we've got Christmas Cottage Mint. So, Christmas Cottage Mint is Harvest Spice, Winter Mint, and Morning Air. What the heck is Harvest Spice? Where do they come up with this stuff? Why is that? This smells like gum. Or like a mint candy. That's been buried in like your grandma's bag that has cinnamon pine cones in it. You know what I mean? Like, you know how sometimes, like, if you ask your grandma for, like, a cough drop or a mint or a piece of gum and she digs it out of her purse, but there's, like, eight other things attached to it because it's just been sitting at the bottom of her purse for, like, months? This is kind of, like, what that smells like. This, Like, this is, like, gum that's just been sitting in Christmas cottage goodness for, like, ever. And then you take it out and it's got, like, hints of the Christmas cottage to it. But it's still gum. Actually, no, the more I'm smelling this, this is like cinnamon, like cinnamon flavored toothpaste or like big, big red gum. Yeah, this is like big, big red gum. 
Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know if I really want my house to smell like this. Hmm. So I would say if you liked things like Peppermint Rush, Perfect Peppermint. I don't know what else to compare this to. I mean, it's not anything like those scents, but it's like along those lines. Hmm. To me, it smells like big red gum. That's what it smells like to me. I don't know. All right, there's that one. Then we've got Christmas Cottage Reef. This one is Eucalyptus Spruce Sprig and Crushed Clove. So is this going to be a tree scent? Oh, yeah, that's a tree. Ooh. I don't like what the spruce is doing in this bar. Hmm. The eucalyptus and the spruce sprig, <clears throat> they're kind of doing the same thing that they do in painted leaves, where it's kind of giving it that, like, cool, refreshing, like, fresh-type scent. And then the clove, it's not heavy. It's like in the back. Not very prominent. I wonder if it will come out more when it's warming. I don't know how I feel about this one. This one isn't like really like tree notes that I would go towards. But if you liked things like Eucalyptus Reef, which is in our catalog. Um, or even if you are one of those people that likes Frosted Winter Pine from the Sense of the Season collection. You might like this one because it's it's got a more natural, fresh, like, tone to it. So that's that one. And then the last one in the collection is Christmas Cottage Cider. And this one is Mold Spices, Cinnamon Stick, and Valencia Orange. So Mold Spices, Cinnamon Stick, Valencia Orange. This has got to be an orange cider scent. It has to be. Hell yeah, it is. Oh, man. Oh, I like that one. Okay, the spices are on the gentle side. They're very, very soft, barely there. So if you're scared on spice, don't be with this scent because I can barely make them out. It is like warm orange cider. Wow. That's not bad. I mean, it's not like... Yeah, it's not going to be a powerhouse or anything like that. Like, if you were to compare this one to, like, Orange Spice and Everything Nice from the Holiday Brick Collection, it's not anything like that. This is just more cooked orange, like, cider. With like a tinge of spice, but not that much. So this is one that you could warm when company is over. And it's not going to, you know, scare them out of the house. So there's that one. And then like I said, we do get a scent circle in the collection. In the Christmas Cottage Cider scent. You can actually smell it through the packaging too. Yeah. So that's the collection. Um, If I was to go... Top fave, I mean, Christmas Cottage is going to be number one. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Um, I would have to say the Christmas Cottage Mint would come in second. Just because there's something about that big red gum, like, vibe I'm getting that's intriguing. That I want to see what that's going to smell like. And then <clears throat> Christmas Cottage Cider would come in third. And then Christmas Cottage Reef would be last. Just because the eucalyptus and the spruce sprig. It, it's just weird. It's very weird. I don't like it. But like I said, if you liked Eucalyptus Reef or even the Frosted Winter Pine from the Sense of the Season collection, this might be one that you would like because it is on the more natural, woody, fresh side of the tree scents. So. 
So that's my first sniffs on the Sunspiration Christmas Cottage. Um, like I said, this will be available to the public to purchase on November 13th. So you can visit your consultant's website on that date or mine, which is wicklesscandles.sensi.us to get this wonderful giftable box for $23. You get all four bars plus that scent circle. So definitely a good savings. And as always on the 13th of November, if you do like any of these scents, you can always throw them in your existing club or make a new club and you'll be able to get them forever and ever as long as you have them in your club. So there is that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any consultants out there have already received their box, what is your favorite? What's your least favorite? Have you had a chance to warm them yet? And if you're a customer, what are you the most excited about about this collection? Love to hear your thoughts. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, you guys. See ya.